schools. Let me grab a call, get one in here before the first hour expires. It'd be uh, Rick in Melbourne, Florida. Thank you, sir, the, for the call, sir, and I'm glad you waited. Thanks, Rush. Uh, thanks for taking my call. Yes, sir. Um, the question I'm just dying for one of the Republicans to ask Senator or um, uh, uh, Mrs. Clinton is, why did she not ask during that 2012 time period when she was getting all these briefings and having all these meetings, why did she not ask, what does Ambassador Stevens think the security ought to be? She, they sent him in there initially saying he's the guy, he's got all the experience. We're going to rely on him to tell us what the ground situation is, how long he should stay, well, what my, should we do. Well, my, now, but, my, my recollection is that he was telling them that there wasn't enough security, and he was asking for more, and it never came. Yes, yes he was. But, but Senator, or, uh, excuse me, Secretary Clinton keeps saying as though she didn't realize that that was the case, that she was letting... Lower level people make the decisions. See, that's what I mean. That, af, af, she, yeah, she says that after claiming she was Ms. Detail in on everything, single handedly running the show on top of everything. All the underlings were dealing with the security question. That really, right. They were never reaching and the mind. ambassador was somebody she knew. She handpicked him. She trusted his judgment. But apparently, she didn't think to ask after the bombings, after they'd had some encounters with the. Uh, the folks there. She didn't think to ask, what does the ambassador think we ought to do security-wise? He just left it to Well, what is that? Else. Okay, look, you obviously are a thoughtful person who studied this. What does that tell you? There's a reason. There has to be a reason for that. He's asking for more security. She's not paying any attention to it. What do you think? I, I think she just wasn't paying any attention. <laughs> I think the, the emails that, um, when they were doing the comparison of the two sizes of emails from 2011 and 2012, and the staffer is saying, I don't even think she realizes we have a presence there. I just don't think she was even paying attention. Well, that's an, I think she, because he was writing, right. the, the ambassador, Stevens, wrote constant memos begging right. for more security. He even threatened to leave his post if they didn't go, get more security. And you're saying, just make sure I understand, you don't think she ever even saw them? Can't tell. But if she did see them, she didn't care? You're, you're... Yes. She, she either saw them and didn't care. It, the, there was some political fallout that was going to cost her to make the decision to send more security. You know, or she didn't care enough she to was, pay attention. She was, well, that's what you think, didn't care enough to pay attention. That is something, no, 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 there has to be something more than that. She was bragging today about how he got to Libya. Yeah. He, he's our, he had to sneak over there on a boat, and she's bragging about this. Yeah, bragging yes. about his, his experience, his judgment, and she even made a statement like, we were depending on Ambassador Stevens to make the calls. Well, see, I think that's all BS. I don't think Stevens was there to be ambassador to Libya. That was the post, but I don't think he was there for that. And that's why his calls for security, they weren't related to what his real purpose was, which I think involved Syria. But anyway, I've got to take a break. No.